Welcome to the RGB Masterclass. This is the starting point for your journey into getting the best picture quality from your retro consoles. Believe it or not, these old systems are capable of some pretty crazy stuff, and a lot of them support a higher level of video quality than you may have realized. Until just a few years ago, we thought that the Sega Genesis couldn't do any better than blurry composite video, and that S-Video was the pinnacle for the SNES. Would you have imagined that it's possible to get a sharper and more accurate image from the original hardware than through retro downloads on HD systems like the PS3 or Nintendo's Virtual Console service? Do you wish that your NES games could look as clear as the label art? Whether you want to use your sleek HD TV or you're a die-hard CRT fan, whether you love the pixelated emulator look or you gotta have scan lines, you might be surprised by what real retro consoles can do with the right cables and hardware. RGB is a color space in which red, green, and blue define all the colors in an image. This is different from the component video cables that you might be used to seeing. But it just so happens that a great number of retro consoles are actually equipped to output RGB video. Sega Genesis, Super Nintendo, Neo Geo, PlayStation, and more. Analog RGB is an extremely high quality signal that provides an amazing image for retro consoles. While North American consumer televisions were never equipped to handle this type of RGB, Europe, Japan, and other regions have RGB-capable connectors like SCART. To display RGB, we can use professional video monitors, high-quality, long-lasting CRTs that were used in TV production and other fields, or video scalers designed to display low-resolution content and high quality on your HDTV, such as the XRGB Mini, also known as the FrameMeister. While all HDTVs scale standard definition video to fit their higher resolution screens, the processing is poorly optimized for retro games, resulting in an image worse than you probably remember, as well as input lag, a noticeable delay from when you press a button until when you see a reaction on the screen. CRTs have no inherent input lag, and well-designed external scalers can significantly minimize it. For many people, the scanline look is essential to their retro experience, and many video scalers also offer this option. While some consoles don't have native RGB capabilities, such as the NES, TurboGrafx, and N64, they can be modified for it, resulting in an image well beyond what you saw as a kid. And more recently, advanced HDMI mods have been developed, which can address specific quirks of the hardware, such as the N64's infamous blur. But it's not all about getting the best or what we think is the best. The goal of the RGB Masterclass is to equip you with an understanding of all of the possibilities so that you can decide what works best for you and your setup. Details on how scalers and CRTs work, specifics on each console, special topics, and new developments. So much of the conversation surrounding retro console video quality is extremely technical, and we had an incredibly difficult time coming to grips with all of the different factors. You don't have to know how to solder or build your own cables. Retro gaming and RGB is something that anyone should be able to enjoy, so we strive to make the RGB Masterclass the resource that we wish had been available when we were getting into all this. We're still learning and researching thoroughly with every episode, collaborating with respected experts in the retro gaming community who understand this stuff on a far more technical level than we ever could. The RGB Masterclass is divided into three levels. The 100 level contains all of the basic information needed to get started and to understand what's possible. The 200 level is console specific. We explore each system and as many hardware revisions as possible to show what they're capable of, breaking down all the options, possible modification, and quirks inherent to every console. And lastly, the 300 level contains all sorts of side topics that have to do with RGB and beyond. Everything from calibrating your display to in-depth overviews of exciting new mods. So, are you ready? This rabbit hole goes deep.